All right, thank you one more time. The program is still much here on independent television. And uh, I told you that we're going to be looking at uh, issues that surround uh, the detronment of uh, uh, former uh, Emir of Kano, uh, Mohammed Sanusi. But that's going to be on the wait side. Quickly, let's uh, quickly look at uh, standardization in Nigeria. Now, we know that uh, when we talk about standardization in Nigeria, it's probably a phenomenon that uh, most people are so interested in. When we say phenomenal now, it's something that you want to know how standard uh, things are in Nigeria. You wake up in the morning, you are taking a cup of tea, and you really want to know if that, um, uh, the beverage you are taking, if it's up to standard. And of course, you go to work, things that you work with, uh, the couch you, you, you sit on, the furniture that you, uh, you sit on, the uh, stationaries that you work with, you want to know if they are up to standard or not. And of course, uh, looking at that uh, this morning, we are privileged to have, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Elisami Akogu uh, from Standard Organization of Nigeria. Well, we are really not talking about Standard Organization of Nigeria as it were as an organization, but we're going to be looking at uh, standardization in Nigeria, the issues and solutions. So you welcome to this program this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning, viewers. Yeah. Now, uh, the issue of standardization in Nigeria, it's probably one of the biggest challenge for our country. And uh, hence, you have your organization and so many other organizations out there that are challenged with the responsibility of making sure that things are up to standard. Now, how would you want to characterize uh, standardization in Nigeria? Let's start from there. OK, thank you very much. Uh, in Nigeria, there's uh, a policy that the federal government put in place. They call it National Infrastructure Equality Policy. It means that the government wants everything to be standardized. When we say standardization, we are trying to say, look, whatever thing that you want to do, there must be an element of quality in it. Whatever you want to do, there must be an element of quality. And so if you look at us, that is we son, we are in, in different, different uh, organizations. We are represented in defense. We are represented even in NAVDAC. We are pre uh, represented even in MAN, Manufacturing Association of Nigeria. And so we try to implement, to showcase that standard is very, very important. Yeah, I know. Let us characterize yes. standardization, uh, you know, as an issue in Nigeria. Let's characterize that okay. first. It's not an issue per se with us. Because we have that, the solution. It's an issue in the country. Yes. It's an issue in the country because people don't want to implement what is on ground. For example, we have National uh, Nigeria Metrology Institute. M N M I in Enugu. What is the work of this institute? Is to ensure that your product of whatever you want to do in in, the, in, in, in government, you follow suit the prescription from this N M I. What I mean is, in M in N M I, we calibrate, we do a lot of calibration, and everything you can see. It's weight and measure. Everything, precision, weight and measure. Everything you can see, even in your business, it's weight and measure. And so we have calibration institute here. We call it institute because anytime from now, they will be awarding certificates. Mm. We can calibrate your wristwatch. We can calibrate your volume. We can calibrate your weight, your mass, your velocity. We can calibrate it there. We can calibrate your way bridges. Because this is what we build up a country. That's when you follow suit, following the standard put in place for you. So I would say it's not issue with SON. It's issue with the people that are supposed to implement the policy. For example, let's take a company, for example. Before a company can start manufacturing and so on and so forth, you must come. We must tell you what to do. But if you refuse to come, then it's an issue with you, not with us, because the, the infrastructures are there for us to ensure that whatever thing you want to do, they are standardized. 
and it is okay. And it is acceptable, globally acceptable all over the world. So that's why we belong to ISO. So that anything we do here reflects in ISO. Yeah, when you say if our products are globally acceptable all yes. over the world, for some people that may not be too correct. I mean, we've often heard of instances whereby uh, products, uh, you know, made in Nigeria, they don't meet up to standard globally or internationally. No. I will say no. Why? Thank God this question uh, came up. If you go to Hussein, I think the other side of Hussein, that's where you have the Chinese companies there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have the ones doing doors. We have the iron rods there. We have uh, Thai ceramics there. We have fiber glass there. We have a big uh, tank there. They, they call them strong and so on and so forth. Now let me tell you one good thing. When they came on board, because they knew the importance of standardization, they came to us. So we have standards for all these products that we gave them our standard, okay? This is the standard of this country, NIS. That's Nigeria Industrial Standard. Please tailor your product towards the procedures in this standard. And they did that. Most of them are exporting. Most of them are exporting. Tans ceramics they are exporting. Fiber glass they are exporting. The research one we did just two weeks ago was for the doors. Whenever they want to export, uh, people from Federal Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs will come with SWN. We we'll sign some documents here and there and so on for before they can export. And so if our products were of substandard, they wouldn't have been exporting. Yeah, they are making I, it. I, people I'm, are making it. Yeah, I'm talking about on the global on the global scene. Now for some people, perhaps uh, that have been outside the shores of this country, you will hear people say that uh, 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 electrical appliances uh, though we don't make them here, except for uh, the electric uh, wires that somehow within Nigeria standard are okay. But somehow, somehow you, you may also hear uh, people say that the, our, uh, our cables, internationally, that they are our cables, acceptable. Our cables, they were made according to the BSI, that's British Standards Institute. Mm. So we took it and then we worked on it. Our cables, they are one of the best in the world. I say so. One of the best in the world, our cables. And so we are proud of that. What I'm trying to say here is, follow what we say you should do. And you have problem. So if our products are rejected over us, then bring those products. Ask the manufacturer, did you follow what else you say you should do? Did you even know at all? There's a product now went to just a bad on here. Not that the product was bad, but there was no labeling, adequate labeling. And the guy is, is manufacturing Bini here. He knows our office, but he refused to do the needful. So they've seized the goods in the bad on here. Our, uh, our son office there seized the, seized the goods. Now she now, he now came to our office. What I'm trying to say is, anything you want to do is built on standards. And so there's a body that oversees this very standard issue we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Why not approach them? We don't charge for information. We don't charge to train you. But the only thing we want you to do is come, get hold of our standard. Uh, anyway, let us not, uh, <laughs> because I don't want to commercialize uh, SON because uh, you are not paying for uh, this discussion. Uh, this discussion is built towards enlightening the yes, uh, uh, public out there. Now, uh, what do you think is actually the greatest challenge? You know, when we uh, talk about standardization of products, standardization of uh, goods and perhaps services. Uh, standardization of goods and services yes, sure. in our country, Nigeria. Just as I said earlier on, we don't really have problems because everything is there. For example, let's say uh, standardization of uh, uh, system services and so on and so forth. We have the ISO. ISO 9001-2015. That's quality management system. Mm. So if you come, you tell us you want to implement that in your company, we will come and put the, the, the structure down for you to follow, to follow suit. Yeah, but we're talking about the greatest challenge. How come we still have some people goods don't, and services that don't meet up to yes, standards? Because those people who are operating it, those people that are uh, ditching out those uh, services, they, 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 they are cutting corners. I must be sincere with you. The cut corners with the cut corners. The cut corners, but not following the tenets of that standard. And okay, the cut corners with uh, organizations that are responsible for uh, making sure that these standards are kept. 
Okay, let me tell you what happened now. Look at the issue I just told you of. Is it possible for some of these uh, people to cut a standard? We are, not, we are not there 24 hours. Eh? We are not there 24 hours. What we are trying to tell you is, work according to what we say you should do. From point A to point B, your product must surely come out good because those things have been documented, SOP. That's standard operating procedures. Whatever thing that, 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 that is done is documented. You don't just bring things from abstract. You don't just say, let me add two spoons. Let me add. No. What does the uh, procedure say? What does uh, the uh, specification that you are following, what does it say? Follow it. If you follow it, it will be okay. Look at the issue I'm telling you in Ibadan now. What does it take? You are painting, you are, you are, you are, you are manufacturing something. It's paint. You are manufacturing paint. Fine. And your paint is of quality. Why not just come to us and say, what is the procedure? What will I do? Then we will tell you one of the procedures is adequate labeling. He didn't do that. He just put his uh, company's name. That is the end. No, it's not even uh, no, uh, no location, nothing. If he put made in uh, Benin, a uh, state, he has also promoted us here. So you don't do things in abstract. There are laid down principles and rules for you to follow. So if you refuse to follow it, it's not an extreme problem. But if you are caught, you pay for it. Yeah, if you talk about so much about SOA, how come the federal government still bother itself? On I Take, for example, the ongoing border closure. If we were to have an organization like SON really up to expectation, do you think uh, the federal government will be bothering on how to close the borders for yes. us? Yes. products uh, that are not up to standard yes. to come in. Why do they close the border? Remember, we are into this uh, ECOWAS trade liberalization. Mm -hmm. yeah? And then SON has gone deep in harmonizing standards. Because we have uh, Francophone and Anglophone in countries. South Africa. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in uh, West Africa. Mm. And so we, we have harmonized our standard so that we have one standard that can be implemented across the borders and so on and so forth. Ghana, they have their Ghana Bureau of Standards and so on and so forth. And so we work together. There's a common front where we meet to do this harmonization. What the border was short was to promote our own uh, local goods here, was to encourage our local goods here. That was why the border was short. Like, for example, now well, that's right. only an argument on one side. We also have the, uh, the argument that most of these uh, 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 groups most, they don't meet up to the standard. No, no, that they don't meet up to the standard. We have, we have, uh, we have men. We have men at the, at the border there, that are same and in Jiroko. I've worked there before. So we take sample, we test. Not that they don't meet to this thing. And then, mind you again, the activities of uh, the smugglers, you can't order play that. They do a lot of hard work. Yeah, that's the question. The uh, yeah, Mr. Ellis, I mean, that's the question. If we have organizations like SON, you mean these smugglers can still thrive? Yes, yes. If we flag, if you like duplicate a SON function in ten places, they will still do something. Why? I had an experience in uh, a They call it Ogodakpa in a this has is the same as this. What do they smuggle? They, they smuggle tires and they smuggle uh, 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 tomato purees and so on and so forth. And they operate at night. And so we had a meeting. We wanted to be taking samples. So we had a meeting with the smugglers. They have association. And their, uh, their chairman, I don't want to call his name now, their chairman came all the way from Onicha to us in a wood and they were uh, uh, security men there, they were custom officers, they, they were police officers there, and so they were insisting that we cannot take sample, that if we take sample, if we test, we're going to take the results, that they don't operate daytime, they operate at night. All right, so what do you people do? If you have SO and you have other security agents. Now let me tell you, let me tell you, one of them, they call him Screen, because he, 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 he's, he's, uh, he's clean shoving and then uh, he has uh, this uh, um, scarf he uses in tiny uh, his head. Maybe that was just to scare He, he said, no, not to scare me. <laughs> not to scare me. We, we had a meeting. There were customs officers there. The controller was there. Other people were seated. And this boy stood up. After the chairman spoke, this boy stood up. He said, if we insist, he, he did like this. They did, I was expecting the police to go and arrest him. They didn't arrest him. 
I'm telling you what happened. You know what they are bad. So what are you telling me? We don't carry guns. And the smugglers they were telling us that if they have a breakdown, no matter the time in the night, they will go and bring a, a mechanic from his bed up and come and do the break with that. You can't see them at daytime. They will pet at night. There's another incident again in uh, the Coda place, baby. No mass land. I, I, all, I, these I, all these places, all these places I'm telling you, mm -hmm. they know. Government uh, officials that carry gun, they are there. They know. If you go to Bebe, they operate from 12 in the midnight to 3 a.m. Now, if you, no say, if, if you say the SON that uh, you don't have uh, uh, security agencies that carry guns, and carry other, guns, in other words, you don't have security agencies that can help you enforce uh, some of these standards uh, requirements, that, then how do you successfully go about your duties? Now, let me tell you, we're supposed to complement one another, isn't it? Mm -hmm. eh? We're supposed to, the custom, we're also in their board. So, custom supposed to know what we are doing. Police supposed to know what we are doing. Uh, NLD, uh, this, uh, yes, they're supposed to know what we are doing. And all other agencies, they're supposed to know what we are doing. We're supposed to complement one another. But when you see what is not right, what are supposed to have infected, and then you are looking at me helpless, it's bad. Not because you, 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 there's, a, there's a target for you to, to meet, and then you, you, you leave me alone like that. It's, it's wrong. I'm, I told you, I understand that happened in Owodi Akpa. These boys stood up and it demonstrated that if we insisted, I was there in that meeting with my supervisor, he insisted that if we want to take this sample by force, he did like this. They couldn't arrest him. I was thinking they would arrest him. I said, come and explain why you want to kill somebody who, who is doing his, his or her duty. They, they never said anything. They laughed over it. And it's night operation. Night operation. And anything can happen. It's, 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 it's happened in uh, uh, Sokoto, I think last year. One of our officers, the, the state coordinator, was shot. Killed. They followed him to his house because he seized some goods that he took to Abuja. They followed him to his house. He went to collect his children. As he just entered the copper, they entered. The children came out of the vehicle. They ordered this man out. They said, we are not having a so And they shot him four times, right in the heart. Hmm. So what are we saying? We're supposed to compliment one another. I'm supposed to take my phone here and say, OK, that point, that point at, along uh, uh, bypass, where vehicles do uh, stay. Please, the police officer there, if you see this one, so arrest, call me, I will come. They won't do that. They won't do that. You know, confine them. And so these people, they have a fit there, I will tell you. No, you see, there's one thing about me. I will tell you the truth. Nothing, I will tell you the truth, what is operational and what is happening. That's what I will tell you. That's what is happening. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, they bring in tires. These tires, some of them are new. But how can you squeeze four tires into one? You have destroyed the, 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 the frame. The lifespan of the tire. You have destroyed it. Yeah. And so, they, they become substandard. If you seize them, before you turn your eyes, they release them. Who are the day that release them? You. I've, mentioned, I've mentioned those people that will work together. That we're it, supposed to complement one yeah, another. Like, uh, 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 listen to me. Is it that? I will tell you. 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 You are you arrest arrest a suspected you. smuggler. I, I, okay. Now you are you are, you have a suspected smuggler. You know uh, with you. Then uh, you you take such a suspected uh, smuggler to the nearest police station. Is it that someone doesn't follow now, up let me to make tell sure you, that let me such tell you what is, is not happening with our director general now, who happens to be a barrister? And then with our new laws now, we have uh, Act 14 of 2015. It's loaded. And if you see our acts now, empowers us to arrest and prosecute. Yeah, but even sometime in 20... We do prosecution now. Yeah, I remember we do in, 20, now. in 2014. People have been prosecuted. You have some new uh, introduction into uh, the Sons Act. Yes. And that has not impacted... It has really impacted. Uh, it, it has really impacted. But for we don't have these issues. No, for example, in Bini here, mm. we did closure. It was nationally announced that 13 iron and steel 
the coffins were, were closed down by sun. I was the one that went to the one here, closed it down. And what was the issue with the one here? Because of carbon content, it's not even low, it's more than what was even specified. Can you see? Mm. And in, we the, see in the iron uh, Yes, and, and we still complain. Not that it was low. It may stand at quite well, but it was too much. If those people want to bend it, we find it difficult to bend it. There must be a percentage that has been outlined in the standard. And so that was their offense. And then another offense again was the diameter was a little bit short with point something something. What is the required diameter? It's, it's the somewhere. required diameter, I won't have it off at Somewhere to, around 5.5. Five, five, uh, five something. Five. Just like that, yeah, MN. The MN, yeah. Yes. That is the required diameter. Mm -hmm. So if it is less than what is specified, it is problem. So you must meet suit. What I'm not trying to tell you is that not that we don't do things. We, we close it down. And they, and they know what happened. For almost three weeks, they didn't produce there. They know what happened. They know what they have lost. So what I'm not trying to say is now we do, uh, uh, we do seizure. We do prosecute. We even send to jail. Now, as I'm talking to you, there are cases in court. People are going to jail. I've done almost three cases in, in high court here in Benin. Anytime I'm going to, to the court, they won't, they, they won't televise me. So people won't know that I have cases in the court of failure, product failures here and here. The other day, I have, I have a case of a helmet in court. They're about rounding up now, and so on and so forth. She's been still here and there. So what I'm what I trying to say is, our son Atna has given us more power. Okay. Now, looking at, yeah, looking at uh, the areas of uh, these uh, problems that we have mentioned about, of course, which you have mentioned about, now let's begin to look at uh, some of the possible uh, solutions. Where do you think we can start from? Okay. Or where should we start from okay. as a nation? Okay. As a nation, yeah. we should, as much as possible, do what other people are doing, other nations are doing. Like what? Like following the policy in place for, for quality infrastructures now. Now, if you want to build your house, you're supposed to come and meet us when. Because we're also in Nigeria uh, building a society. We are there too. You're supposed to come and meet us when. I want to do this, I want to do that. Then we will not come. Most of them, they think, once they come to us when, it's money. The, the government will charge you money. No, we will tell you what to do. How to build three stories? Okay, these are the type of crops you will need. These are the type of uh, uh, cement you will need. These are the type of uh, concrete you will need. These are the type of sand you will need. People just go and gather sand. No, it's not every sand you use in building house. I'm telling you, if, if you have sharp sand, you even, you even sieve it again. You sieve it and remove all the debris. Not, not only how water you use in building your house, it's quality water, water that you can drink. So these are the things that S1 is there to tell you. But when you refuse to come to us, we can't be driving you because we don't know what you want to do the next time. Maybe after talking to you now, you can go back and begin to cut blocks. But do you know the, the ratio between a block and a cement bag? You don't know. But these are the things S1 has put in place for you. So for your question, we must follow suit what is documented for us to do. We must do the needful, just as other people are doing. We must follow precision, calibration, whatever thing we are doing. And then above all, we as well, we are providing a, a workshop. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> it's okay uh, because of time. Uh, you just said it all that we must make sure that we follow uh, the lay down expectations, uh, calibration of uh, items to make sure that they meet up to uh, standard. I, I would have allowed you to speak more, but I, 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 yeah, I don't want you to, to talk more so that it will not be commercialized. Well, I understand that you're on the verge of uh, leaving after about 31, 35 years of yeah, acting uh, years. service. Yes. So how would, you, how would you want to describe all these years? Last, yes. last year? It has been a very nice year for me. I spent 31 years, so I'm going now. Okay. It has been a very nice year. Why? Because in every work you are doing, mm. You bring in integrity, mm. Mm? Mm. bring in love to what you are doing. So I loved my job for 19 years out of it. I was in the lab mm. testing. Mm. I, I was okay. 
until I came to a do state. And then I, I, I've, uh, I've brought in a, a industrial harmony between song and the industries. And then I've tried as much as possible to tell them what SON stands for. And then to also tell them that those of us who are managing it, who are the uh, helms of affairs, mm. we are not gullible. We are approachable. You can approach us, we can give you uh, our little ideas. And so for that, I am happy. And then I am happy because I have contributed much to the companies and the industries here in Edo. Mm. I visited most of them. Those that have problem, I will go tell them this is your problem even offer training, free training, and so on and so forth. Mm. Then, I'm, above all, I'm happy because I made friends. Why? Because I have not twisted anybody's arm okay, and to what, collect what, what, anything. What would you say uh, has been uh, your greatest challenge? Quickly, in 30 seconds. My greatest challenge is people don't want to follow what is needful for their company to grow, not for my company. For your company to go, they don't want, but when they now enter problem, they did not come to us. My joy again is that we have a consumer complaint advocacy, and all the consumer complaints that came to my uh, office, over 100 for the period that have been here, we settled them amicably. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Elisa Combo. I, I wish you all the best as uh, you. you make plans to retire from acting service. 31, 35 years. That so much. Yes. 31 years. Because of, but you also have done 35 years. Yeah, but age. Okay, age. All right. So you are giving them four more years. I, I dash them four. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank uh, you very much. He has always uh, come on our program here to make sure that. Uh, you know, we discuss issues that have to do with, uh, you know, standardizing products, services, and all that. And uh, I'm going to miss him personally from office, but I do hope that the person I'll take over from you. If you, you if apart from that, mm -hmm. if, because uh, uh, the, the letter I'm giving to my club, my stakeholders is, we are looking for letter of appreciation and uh, welfare. Okay. And then uh, we are looking forward for more robust uh, collaboration in future. Uh, all right, thank you so much. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much one more time. For thank you very much. Time to come. Thank well, you. we'll take a short pause now so that all that segment will come your way. Stay tuned.